guys, it's the Drummer Gordo here, and today I'm going to show you how to play the halftime shuffle on the buckets. Now, for those of you that don't know what a halftime shuffle is, it's uh, intermediate, advanced. I don't know what the levels are for drumming, but it's quite a difficult beat to play, and it sounds like this. Now, the halftime shuffle was originally made famous by drummers such as Bernard Purdy, uh, Jeff Piccaro, or John Bonham. And today it's a beat that I think that pretty much every drummer will learn at some point in their career. Now, as you may have noticed in that clip on the drum kit, when playing the halftime shuffle, you use your bass drum. Obviously, any beat you use your bass drum. So the main issue when transferring a beat from the drum kit to the buckets is how to play the bass drum. And in this case, with the halftime shuffle, it's mostly played by your right hand. But let's back up a bit and we'll learn the basic pattern that I use to play the halftime shuffle on the buckets. The basic pattern that we're going to use is pretty much the same as on the drums. It's very simple. It's right, left, right. Right, left, right. And just repeat that. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. Three, four. Now, once you have learnt that, I recommend learning these next two patterns to help you deepen your understanding and your ability to play different types of triplets. So the second triplet that it would be good to learn is right, left, left. Right, left, left. And just repeat that. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Three, four. And the third pattern is right, right, left. Repeat. Right, right, left. Right, right, left. Right, right, left. Three, four. Now, with these patterns, you may have noticed that they all start with the right hand, which means that there's a left-handed start alternative to each of these three patterns. So all up, there's actually six main variants to learn. And whenever I'm warming up, I play all six of these patterns. You can easily start with the right hand pattern and then halfway through automatically change to a left hand lead and back and forth. This will help you improve your dexterity and will also help you get used to playing these triplets. Now, for the halftime shuffle, we play the rhythm right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. But we need a backbeat. Now, I play the backbeat with my left hand, which means for that one stroke, that's normally the right hand playing that part, I switch to the left hand and then back to normal. In other words, it goes right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right. Three, four. That's pretty much the whole pattern that you need to know. Again, this is similar to the way you play it on the drums. You play the backbeat with your left hand, and then you play the second part of the triplet as a ghost note on the center of the snare. So those of you that can play it on the drum kit, it's a similar feeling. The backbeat is also the hardest part of this beat, I think, because you have to play the backbeat nice and loud and strong, hitting the stick flat across the bucket to try and get as much crack as you can. And then the very next triplet, is on you play it on the outside rim of the bucket so you have to play the back beat and then quickly move your hand out to play the second ghost note But once you get a hang of that, the rest of the beat is pretty simple. Now once you can play this simple pattern with the backbeat in there, all you have to do is gradually experiment with different bass drum patterns. So that right hand, that's always playing the da 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 on the rim of the bucket, just start experimenting playing some of those notes on the center of the bucket 
to get those deep bass drum notes. Or I don't know what your bucket setup is, wherever you want to get your bass drum sound. Gradually move your right hand to play a couple of beats for the bass drum and then back to the rim of the bucket. And then you can find out kind of what, which beats work and which beats sound good. Now once you get used to the beat even more, you can start experimenting by not just changing up the bass drum pattern, but moving your right hand to another bucket to try and get a different sound and mix things up a bit. Now some of you may be thinking, hold on, right, left, right, right, left, it's just triplets, you're just complicating triplets, why don't you just play right, left, right, left, right, left, you know, single stroke triplets. Wouldn't that be a bit simple than playing da, 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 instead you can just say da, 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 a lot easier, right? Well, you can, and that's another cool beat that you can play, but technically it's not a shuffle and it will sound slightly different. Anyway, that's the lesson for today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and see you next time.